Okay, I'm just about to uh, put our cardboard down on the ground. Um, we, we use, if you can get a hold of these, um, my grandfather has a, a, an appliance shop, so we get these big boxes from him, which you can lay down in big sheets and it covers an area quickly. Okay, this is one side that we mulched the other day. Uh, well, you can't see right now, but we saved all our cardboard over, over the winter. And this is all mulched with small pieces. You can use any, you know, piece of cardboard. Maybe you don't want to have cardboard with lots of dyes or inks in it. Um, the brown is better. It's just, you know, anything with less chemicals in it is better for the soil and better for the worms. With the cardboard, you, you would really want to pull off the tape. If there's any tape on the cardboard, pull that off because you don't want that in your soil. Okay, so, so basically with these, these boxes, they're nice and easy. I just have a, a, a blade. Um, basically, you just, you just want to open it up. Just like that. Let it open. I've got a big sheet here, and I'm just going to drag this over. Set it on, set it situated on the spot you want it. Now, as you'll notice, there's gaps here where weeds could come through. So you will want to you will want to put some smaller pieces and cover up any spaces where weeds could potentially come through. Um, when you're laying down the cardboard, I'll show you later on. You want to overlap it maybe about that much. Overlap each piece because um, you don't want any way for for weeds to come through. Okay, I've cut some small pieces here from another. Uh, this is a a mailing box. Um, just to show you how I cover up the gaps uh, to stop weeds from coming through. So basically I've got, I've got a small piece here and I'll just lay this underneath so it covers up this gap here and I'll do that on, on the other pieces too. Uh, just to mention I, I put them underneath um, just because um, if you're doing this on a windy day, we're lucky today that uh, we don't have any wind. So if you're putting them on the top and you're doing a big area all at once, um, you're, you're more, they're more likely to blow away than if you put them underneath under a bigger sheet. Another reason for putting the small pieces underneath is when you go to put the, the mulch on top of the cardboard, Sometimes you need to push the wheelbarrow onto it to get to the middle. Um, if they're also, if the small pieces are on top, they're more likely to move around as you're pushing the wheelbarrow on. This is this is uh, what we've done so far. Um, this has probably taken us about 10 minutes to put these pieces on, and you can see that we've mulched around some areas, like my uh, baby broccoli plants and some leeks over there, um, and also the kales over there. We started to put some of the mulch on, which I'll rake out evenly. This is my husband Harvey. He's just piling some wood chips into the wheelbarrow to take over to the sheet mulch area. Um, using a fork to, to dig the wood chips into the barrow, we found much more successful than, than a shovel because the shovel tends to bounce off some of the, the bigger parts, some of the bigger sticks in, in the pile. I'm just getting to an area where I want to mulch around my leeks. Um, I don't want to cover over the top of them because we're going to harvest them soon. So I've got some smaller pieces of cardboard which I'm going to lay in in between the rows. Um, I've started to do one here. Um, so basically I'm just going to put this, just going to overlap it a little bit so it's like that. And you just carry on doing that overlapping. Get up as close to the plants as you can because you, you want to eliminate as much areas for weeds to come through as possible. 
Uh, hi, I just wanted to show you another surprise that I found. I love it when my vegetables reseed themselves and I'm now mulching around uh, my leeks and I've just discovered um, in here are lots of baby leeks. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna mulch over those, I'm gonna leave those, dig them up and move them to another spot. It saves me sowing some seeds uh, for leeks again. Here we are, we're all done now. Um, it's all mulched. This whole process of putting the cardboard down and um, applying the wood chip mulch took about two hours between me and Harvey. Um, I've also put down, as you can see, some, some boards um, for walking on because from now on I won't be walking on anywhere else apart from the boards to keep the, the cardboard, because if you walk on it the cardboard may break up and also by not walking on, on it, it will keep the ground um, aerated and, and you won't compact it with your feet. Um, walking on the board spreads your weight pretty evenly, so even the ground underneath the boards is not going to compact as much. 